Endeavouring to serve the research community for 25 years, the International Forestry and Environment Symposium of University of Sri Jawadhanapura reaches its 26th milestone in 2022. Renowned as the oldest forestry and environment conference in South Asia, undoubtedly this is the most predominant event for eminent researchers and scholars in the genre of forestry and environmental sciences. We have started similar kind of a conference in Faculty of Management Studies, which I have given the leadership to come out from the national level to an international level. So the experience of this particular conference was very much used by me for the development of ICBM at management. Last 15 to 16 years, I think almost all symposium I have participated. So, and we all have supported this particular department for most of our people and uh, so they have given you PhD opportunities during when you all are very young. I think that is a very great strength to this particular uh, department. Now uh, it's almost uh, 25 years after establishment of your department. I'm very proud as a member of the uh, Faculty of Applied Science member, the development of your department. In the past, scientists were merely discussing their research findings themselves as they did not have a neutral platform to bring their research into light. Filling that gap, we have started this symposium in 1995 at University of Sri Jayawardenepura. In 1982-83, we started the MSc course in forestry with a lot of financial aid from the government. We started this international symposium in forestry. By that time, we had established forestry courses so much that we created the Department of Forestry and Environmental Science also at about the same time. So we recruited a lot of young, active and very energetic people into this course and into our staff members and especially from the very beginning we had selected Professor Hema Dhirana Singh, Hira Namrasekar, Dr. BMP Singh Kumar and Prasanti Gunawadana uh, later on, uh, Professor Subhasing uh, and a lot of people who are very active in the field at the moment. The symposium creates an open platform for both eminent academics and young researchers to present their research findings in front of policymakers, academia, and industry. These new findings are published on the website as well as the peer reviewed refereed journal of Tropical Forestry and Environment. We have now introduced two Scopus indexed international journals. One is Forests and People, a journal published by Elsevier for forestry and natural resources research. And the other is the Environment Quality Management Journal, which is published by Wiley and Sons for research on environmental management. This is one of the largest and oldest forestry and environment symposium in South Asia. We are glad that in this symposia, both young researchers and senior academics present their research findings and debate their research findings. Since 1995, we were able to provide a stage for several researchers to broad their research into action. We had a mix of presenters and the researchers. We have the senior researchers, at the same time we have the junior or young or emerging researchers who are very much into the science, into the forestry sector and also into the environment sector and their findings are amazing because all the senior scientists were really impressed about those work of the youngsters. Annually organized by the Department of Forestry and Environmental Sciences, this exemplary event brings together academics, scientists, professionals, stakeholders and policy makers of the field of forestry and environment. With several participants from Asia and around the world, new professional connections are made. Thus paving the way for a greener and more sustainable world, the Department of Forestry and Environmental Sciences, a 
of University of Sri Jawadhanapura proudly presents the 26th International Forestry and Environment Symposium.